It's Tuesday. It's October. Uh, I'm Nick. This is Joe. This is the Found it's Footage Tuesday, Fest. It's October. Yep. I'm yeah. just narrowing it down for people. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're live. We're here in our office filled mm -hmm. with 10,000 VHS tapes. What are we going to do with them? Well, we're going to watch them one by one with you. Yep. Um, this is part of our... And how are we going to do it? Uh, by twirling and dancing around? You got know. it. Okay. You nailed it. Yeah. Yes. Twirling, dancing around, <laughs> popping in VHS tapes, and... Uh, jumping up and down. Jumping up and down. Yep. So thanks for uh, thanks for being with us. Yep. Um, we've been on the road with found footage shows, but we came back to put together some pretty great. I'm excited about the stuff I pulled for tonight. There's there's some all star caliber stuff here today. Yeah, yeah I, I have no idea what you even pulled. I, I saw you working furiously over there. There's all afternoon. one in in particular. There's one clip that I found recently in our office that I have been so excited to show you tonight. Oh yeah, I think this is going to go down as like a legendary episode. Of I the have show. okay, because I have one that is an instant classic. Yeah, and then I also have another one that I'm obsessed with, and we're gonna okay. make some, and we're gonna make some phone calls today. All too, right. Plus so. George is here too. George, thank you for being here. Uh, we'll, he's gonna have some exciting updates for yep. us. So George is against a green screen tonight. Mm -hmm. We'll find out what that's about later. We're have some fun. We're gonna take some calls. Some uh, first time, last times. Yep, that's what we're calling them. And we always start FTLTs. off... FTLTs. <laughs> we always start off uh, with uh, Found Footage Festival Classic. Tonight, I'm going to play something from, I think it was Volume 4, the music montage. Is that... Do you remember what... Nah, I don't know. All right. <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, it was Volume it's 4. It's all a blur. And um, I hadn't watched a lot of the videos in this because we pulled a lot of musical instructional videos. And then we gave them to our buddy Johnny Gillette and said, do something with these. Yeah. We made notes, did some editing, but uh, he watched the bulk of the videos. Yeah. So I saw clips from this, but I had never seen the full video of Learn to Sing oh, yeah, this is a classic. Overnight. And mm -hmm. uh, it's two people. They seem like they're married, but they're not. And they're because they're, they're the right. Are they? Are you say they seem like they're married because they're the right well, no, attractiveness level? You know how everyone thought that there's something um, with Lady Gaga and Bradley uh, oh, yeah, Cooper yeah. because they were singing into each other's eyes. Oh, okay. They do that throughout oh, if the video. Oh, singing to each other's eyes. Then, I think okay. that's what makes you seem like a couple. Okay. But they're not, uh, even though their names are similar, and they're they're really good at what they do. But they're anybody doing ridiculous uh, vocal exercises looks ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're silly. They're, oh, yeah, yeah. We had Jim Gillette last week yeah. doing his funny thing. That's what made me think about He was actually embarrassed this. to do them. Right. And yeah. so this is uh, also pretty embarrassing. But again, probably works well if you're a singer. So, oh, and this comes with, um, apparently the Overnight series was like a whole thing uh, oh. on TV. You could play Who harm put it out? harmonic Brooke? overnight. Uh, you could... Scimitar? No, it's uh, the Vocal Power Institute. Oh. So, yeah, but this is a... Uh, Sounds as, legit. As seen on TV, there's one called uh, uh, Kids Learn to Play Harmonica Overnight, which yeah. I really want to guess. There's no kid that's going to learn how to play harmonica overnight. Well, you overnight. can't do any of these things overnight. Um, <laughs> you pl play rock guitar overnight. It's not yeah. going to happen. So this isn't the raw video. I cut together a little montage I just finished beforehand. So this is uh, the best of Learn to Sing Overnight. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about this one. This guy's like a Will Ferrell character. He is, yeah. They're singing the worst music in the world. The Vocal Power Method. We're going to take you step by step through the basic techniques of singing. Cue cards. And as you yeah. sing with us, you will feel more freedom, power, and confidence. Breathe support. Hey! Ah! We've got a chance. 
Is that the example one not to do? Yes. Okay. That's a breathy vocal. They do all the vowel sounds. Oh, they look in love for sure. Do them a lot. Do them. I think I didn't include any of the parts where they're singing into each other's eyes. And when the music gets hot, have a great day. <laughs> have a great day. What are you guys supposed to do? Similar, yeah, different. Have a great day. <laughs> Doing the carol voice. Aha! Whoa! I'm sad. <laughs> I wish that I could be with you right now. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. Yeah. to opening a whole new world of singing enjoyment. You were born to sing. Singing enjoyment. <laughs> that's, a, that's what all the lyrics are. That, what'd you say? Now you're on your way to singing enjoyment? Yeah, yeah, singing enjoyment. <laughs> and I didn't include them introducing it because it was boring. There's so much, but it's Elizabeth Howard and Howard Austin. So oh. they, that's yeah. why I said they have similar names. But yeah, they do a lot of singing into each other's eyes, doing har we gotta harmonies. We got to do like a full montage of all vocal exercises. Well, that's because it, it reminded me of the uh, the hunting calls yes. video that we that we did a while ago. And we have tons where we have the um, we have the vocals about how to do the growl singing. Yeah, that could be included. All the sounds with like yeah. them making sounds. That'd and be a fun one. Um, I have another one in this category that I'm going to play uh, during show and tell. So all right, excited! Sweet. That's on our Volume Four DVD at FoundFootageFest.com. Um, all right, we want to talk about our EP mode. We did the EP mode last week. Um, this is for patrons. Uh, last week was for five dollars and over. We did a special uh, viewing. This week it's gonna be for $10 and over, but it's a continuation of what we watched last week, which th was the Hollywood Welcome Home Desert Storm Parade. It right. was this uh, parade 1992. from this, 1992, yeah. and they were welcoming home the troops from the Gulf War uh, with athletes and, and musicians and, and all that. Old-timey actors. Uh, Old-timey actors, and it's a terrible parade. Well, this, uh, the second, are we calling them volumes? Part two, Part two. of uh, the EP mode, where we watch, I think, a full hour of mm -hmm. the parade with together, um, is my favorite EP we've ever done. Yeah. Part two of this. I was in tears by the end. I of was it. too. I, I wonder if just we're the only ones who are going to enjoy this. But. I don't know. You tell us, because I was. I mean, we were getting punchy. This was two hours now into the well, parade. I think because there's a lot of tedium. There's a lot of I tedium. Think, I, see, tedium brings out the best in both of us. We were doing. It? We were doing a lot of Bob Eubanks impressions. We were doing fake commercials. I mean, Bob it was, Eubanks is your best impression. Or thank it's you. Probably a top three impression of yours. It, it was so much fun. So I hope you'll watch. We'll, we'll show you a little bit more of the parade. Yeah, this is a scene where. Um, I forgot who this woman was, but she's wearing red, white, and blue. And this is just an example of some of the awkward conversations you get with Bob Eubanks. And the audio is terrible Lisa here. Gibbons. Oh, they were beeping at you, Bob. From the head of the class, here's head Christine class. Hodge. She appeared with Bob Hope on the, oh, US yeah, she was tour, Simone. the USO tour in the Gulf last Christmas. Christine is with her mom, Rita. And Christine, hi and welcome. Hi. Oh, I'm so absolutely thrilled to be here. You know, when the great Bob Hope took us over to the Persian Gulf, I love being with the men and the women there. The USO but more than anything, I wanted them to come home safe and sound. And here they are. It's a dream come true. Well, you are doing our red, white, and blue crowd today. Got the sequence happening. The sun is shining bright on you. It looks great, Christine. Oh, thank you. I did it just for the men and the women. I'm sure it'll be appreciated as you head down the parade route. Of course, right, you have a head start you. when you have red hair. You know that. That's true. That's true. If only I've got the white skin. Um, what can I have? Blue, blue eyes. If only there I had blue eyes. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I, sorry, Bob. I figured if I don't wear it today, when am I going to wear it? You're a vision of patriotism. You really are. Thank you very much. Thank with the red hair and the white Bye skin. Bye-bye. <laughs> a lot of memories, I'm sure, from that USO tour. Oh, it was the most amazing experience I've, I've ever had. I'll never forget it. So that's some I'm of the fun that, that awaits. So, so imagine three hours of that. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, 
weird. He, what do you say? You already have a head start with the hair for the red hair. Yes. And she goes, yeah, and I have the white, white skin. skin. Right. And if only my eyes were blue. She's like, yeah, now what else is blue? Then uh, she would be more patriotic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Uh, um, oh, God, yeah. I'm going to upload that. Tonight, maybe tomorrow or so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so join a, join on Patreon, and uh, you can catch up on all these EP mode episodes if you just can't get enough. Um, we are a fit like Bob Eubanks. Um, <laughs> all right, because that sounds like a Eubanks thing. Yeah. You just can't get enough. Yeah, join uh, Patreon.com/slash Found Footage Festival. Thanks to all the folks at Patreon. Coming up next, we got part two and three of the Welcome Home Desert Storm Parade. Thank you, sir. That's kind of like they, his parade pattern. That should be a lot of fun. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So we wanted to announce, we, we, I think we workshopped this over our phone line last week. We decided oh, to. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We thought it'd be fun because next week it's Halloween. It's our Halloween episode. Yep. Second annual. We're gonna, I still don't know what I'm going to go as. I have my costume ready. I'm yeah. not going to reveal it. but You get uh, so excited about Halloween. I, it's my favorite holiday. I, I, I threw uh, it together the morning of. Yeah, you, yeah. You like you have your costume all ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have the one for the show, and then I have my regular <laughs> Halloween costume. So it's a it's a process. But uh, so we're we I've watched a couple Halloween videos. One again, I'm so excited to show off. I I might be the only video I show. Maybe three clips from this okay. video I found. That's a Halloween related video next week. But um, we had the idea that since we're in costume, we should ask the Melindas, our viewers, to dress up as well. Mm -hmm. And we kind of put a, a, a casual call out for people to dress up as a character from VCR Party. Somebody in the videos, um, somebody, it could be Marty, it could be your earwax. My earwax, yeah. It, or it could be somebody from one of the Found Footage Festival shows or, or clips. Mm -hmm. So anything you go goes. Go with Steve? That'd be a good one. You could one. go with Steve, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, yes? Steve? I was going to say Eli said he was going to go in one of the calls last week. As you? Yeah, me, Fridge, Christine, my wife. Oh, oh yes. No, right. Thanks, thanks Eli. Thanks yeah. for thinking of us. Yeah, you could go as Detective right. George, um, but the sky's the limit. And uh, so we had an announce what the, the prizes were, mm -hmm. and um, I'll, I'll announce that now, because uh, you can enter at, um, but just by well, emailing well, us. Well, people stoked by the, by the first entry. Oh, okay. Well, let me just refresh your memory, somebody you might remember from uh, the very first video we founded that started our tape collecting journey. Uh, this is the McDonald's training video. Say that video. like Bob, you bet. <laughs> Our uh, tape collecting journey. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Remember her? Oh, I see, then, then everyone knows what to expect. Right. Jennifer, I want to do a good job here. Chris, the job you have here is so important. It's so easy. I mean, the overall cleanliness... Any dummy can do it. ...McDonald's restaurants tells our customers just how much we value them. Well, I hope what I do makes them feel good about eating here. Fat chance, sure Chris. You're forgotten. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're going to have to leave your schedule flexible. You'll have to leave time for preventive maintenance. Who own you now, Chris? <laughs> any other you're an indentured in servitude at McDonald's. Okay, fine, I will. <laughs> Great. Thanks for your help, Jennifer. You're a good teacher. I love you. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I think we're going to like it here. We? Me and McSee. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Chris. Get in here, you big lug. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> so uh, that's they love each other. I know. Again, uh, they seem like they're married, mm -hmm. but that's uh, Jennifer, um, the sort of sassy. Like she's the uh, is we, she sassy? Well, she's the dom in the relationship. Oh, okay, uh, is what I'm saying. Yeah. But um, so Amanda sent us a photo, fairly unsolicited. Steve, do you have that up there? Look at Amanda's costume. She went as Jennifer. She had another idea, but she's like, you know that, what? Like. The bar has been set. The bar has been set. That's high. like next level. She, she she found one of those ties that, yes. did that did do that thing. She went to McDonald's. And I like to think that she got that haircut just for Jennifer. I hope so. Yeah. Bravo, Amanda. Uh, yeah, the bar has been set high, and she didn't even know what she was playing for. Here's what you're playing for. Yeah. The um, should we start with third place? Yeah, third okay. place. Okay. If you're yeah. the third place winner, I'm just putting up the uh, the graphic. I just want to make sure I have it right. It's yeah. info at foundfootagefest.com. Yep. yep, that's the uh, place to email your uh, photos. Um, the third uh, place is you're going to get a rodent control in the park industry temporary tattoo. Mm -hmm. We only yep. have a few of these. Um, that is. And a, wait, I completely forgot about those. Yeah. They've just been kind of sitting on a shelf it's, over there for a while. It's a diagram that we found in a video called Rodent Control in the Pork Industry. Plus, you'll get a set of two enamel pins, one with the Found Footage Festival logo, and one with the blue Rejuvenique as featured on VCR Party in the back there. 
Um, we gotta get somebody to wear one of those and put it as like the the tramp stamps down there. Yeah, right. you know what? I think um, Pamela Z wore it to our Chris Gethard show. Oh really? Yeah, oh. she she wore one. Let's see. Um, it. Yeah, uh, second place. Um, this is a good one. You're going to get a copy of probably the greatest VHS cover we have in our collection. You'll get this whole video, Tree Stand Safety. It's so good. It's so good. We just got a second one, so now we can part with one of them. Yeah. And that's going to look great on a shelf. Plus, you're going to get a polio sport wallet. Yep. Uh, as featured in... What's Auction that? Alley. Auction Alley, yep. show we've shown. Uh, we actually made these, polio sport wallets. And inside, I don't want to reveal too much, but we have some special surprises in some there. Some crazy well. crap. Crazy crap. Yep. All of these, we're going to throw in extra crazy crap. Oh, yeah, too. yeah. There's going to be, be tons of extra crazy everybody crap. Everybody will get one of these cool Found Footage Festival stickers. More crazy crap. But the grand prize winner, if you have the greatest costume we've deemed yep. uh, from all the entries we get, by November 4th, uh, you're going to get our... Uh, well, this, not this DVD. This, not this DVD, but you'll get our... The late, brand new one. Yeah. It's, coming out, it's coming out tonight. Yeah, Volume 9. It's coming out right now. We'll, if all goes well, will be released tonight on our website. Yeah. And it'll be available. You can order the DVD and then get a digital download free so you can watch mm -hmm. it right away and then get the physical media. Yep. The person who did our cover art is Art Paul Schlosser, yep. uh, the local street musician who we found a public access video where he's painting with his own spit. Yep. We asked we him call to... It spit, we call it spit, spit paintings. paintings. So we've commissioned him to make a few of them. This is kind of what we used for the cover, partially. Yeah. And this is the original We used painting. the tapes on there. Yeah, yeah. And he made that with his own spit. So that's all Art Paul Schlosser spit. And these sell for a lot. These, these are worth a lot, at yeah. least in our own little world. We sell them at our shows, but we're saving this one for the winner of this contest. Exactly. That's, a, that's an authentic, original, one-of-a-kind spit painting it, by it, Art Paul Schlosser. It will be hermetically sealed yeah, for exactly. your protection. So, but uh, you're going to get that plus a copy of our latest DVD before Art anybody Paul's else. Art Paul's germs were calling up your hands. I know. I could see them. And you had yeah. the idea to give a last place award. Oh yeah, I think that we should find the worst one too. I think that's incentive for people to do a really bad, like awful one. <laughs> um, and then the worst place gets a uh, baggie full of uh, Batman Batman cereal. Oh right, this is our punishment cereal. Yeah, list. I'm just going to like grab a handful. I'm not going to wash my hands either. Okay. I'm going to be like, after a full day, I'm yeah. just going to kind of have dirty hands and like reach in and then put it into an old Ziploc bag. Okay. Maybe like a damp zip Ziploc bag, sure. and then I'm gonna mail that to uh, okay. whoever gets the worst. And you know what I'll do is I'll, you know what I have to put um, my dog Marty's uh, uh, penis back into its sheath. Yeah. I, I use the, a wet wipe to yeah. do that. I'll put one of those wet wipes in that bag as Sweet. well. Sweet. So yeah. there we go. Here's what you're playing for, everybody. Yeah. It's the uh, first annual VCR party costume contest for Halloween, deadline November 4th. Send us your. Uh, your pictures and post them on uh, social media too. Yep. Um, all right, speaking of filth, let's roll up the Joe's Filth Corner. You see it? <laughs> you got the graphic? Oh, there it no, is. I thought I deleted that out of the. No, no, it's a new one. Oh, okay. It has uh, the blurred out. Okay. You know that I. Huh? I, well, I do this. <laughs> you, can still see the, you can still see the tips. That's right. Yep. Now, people have asked you to do a filth, a filth Corner. So they People have asked you to do a filth corner so they know when they can tune out. And exactly. Tune there, yeah, there's one guy who on YouTube who said, the uh, the body talk and the body stuff is legit ruining this show. Right. I think that's what I he said. I tend to agree with him. And I li I'm a people pleaser. I like to make people happy. Um, so, so I... So he segregated uh, into a corner. Yep. Okay. So I was like, here's what I'm going to do. Maybe we can reach a compromise. I'm going to do a filth corner. Right. And then you know to shut off. So it's filth corner time. Time to shut off. How Although long this uh, do you think this will go this so isn't that people bad. know when to... I mean, this isn't that bad of one, actually. It's, it's, I'm, let's I'm say two, two minutes, let's say. I'm closing the book on the earwax. Uh, uh, Whoa! What is it? The earwax story. So we, we, we have some closure now to earwax. Steve, so put the confetti. Do the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So just a quick recap. I, 12 years ago, pulled out a huge chunk of earwax. I'm a waxy man. I, I pulled a huge chunk of earwax out of this ear. Right. You saw it on the, on the uh, Filth Corner intro clip. Right. Luckily, it was blurred. About two months ago, I pulled out another huge chunk. Actually, I flushed it out, and it landed on my arm in the shower. Mm -hmm. I took it out. You thought I, it was a cockroach? I thought it was a cockroach. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for filling in the Just details there. Just here, yeah. <laughs> So I said this was going to be a legendary episode. I'm downgrading that now, but go, keep going. Go ahead. So then uh, I had the idea of, like, why don't we jump, why don't we reach in the hopper and it, <laughs> I'll give away my new earwax right. to somebody. Pull out one unlucky winner from our hopper full of 
sweepstakes and, entries. And yeah. so then I pulled out this uh, woman named Nikki from upstate, and then I was packaging it all up, and I was like, this feels kind of weird to be putting a chunky earwax into an envelope. <laughs> That's when it occurred to you. Yeah, okay. when, it, when I was actually doing it right. is when it started to feel uh -huh. weird. And so instead I wrote our letter, I said, hey, look, you won the earwax. It's yours if you want it. You don't have to take it. I'm giving you the option. Right. And I didn't hear anything back until today. Okay. By the way, by the way, here's here's the what the earwax chunk looks like. All right. This is the worst it's getting for the Joe's Phil corner. We put it in this uh, little thing here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it in there? It's like a Here. little yeah. decanter. I don't Just know what it is. Can you imagine that was blocking my hearing? It was blocking my hearing. I don't have to imagine. You've shown it repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay, so here's, here's what uh, Nikki wrote. Nikki wrote an oh, email yes, today. Wrote an email. She goes, okay. Dear Melinda's longtime fan, first time emailer. Great start. A few weeks ago, I was lucky enough to be the gal whose envelope you pulled from the hopper, making me the rightful owner of Joe's Ball of Earwax. <laughs> I've been struggling with what I should do ever since that fateful Tuesday. Oh, she's been wrestling with this. Where would I display it? Should I name it? What if it becomes homesick? I am honored to be chosen, but do not feel I could possibly cherish said earwax to the degree that its rightful parent, that's you, Joe, would and should. Hmm. After seeing the sparkle in your eyes, you proudly displayed the earwax's stylish new housing in last week's episode. I knew it was finally time to zap off an email. I'll <laughs> let you know my decision. Wow. It is with a somewhat heavy heart that I <laughs> declare the earwax to be yours, dear wow. friends. Treat it well. I will forever hold it in my heart. Hold on, let me get this right. I will forever hold in my heart what you once held in your ear. Wow. <laughs> That's all. That's it. Nikki from Upstate. Wow, Nikki, wow. bravo. If you love something, set it free. Exactly. I think that's what she, a single tear. I can tell up. you're a little emotional. Yeah. That was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And I'm so happy I don't have to give it away now because I like this new housing for it. And she so. referenced zapping off an email. Which oh, is yeah, yeah. I want, from, well, uh, I want to reward uh, Nikki. Uh, for, for her kind gesture. And where are you going to pull it from this time? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to um, play uh, the zap it off. When she, she had that reference and she said, I'm, I decided to zap off an email to you. That's like a reference to volume three. It's of like an footage. old computer montage. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to, uh, Nikki, this one's for you. I'm going to show you the clip from the computer video where he says he's going to zap off an email. But Nikki, what would you have named the earwax? I'm just curious. Oh, yeah. You, you know what? The, that. No, let's do that for the phone call today. Oh, yeah. Okay, here it is. Hi there. Just finishing up a few things here. Let me zap off a final email message and then I'm done. There you go. There, there you All go. Right. Yep, there you go. Um, what do you think his email said? Like, and who is he emailing? I, I, well, I, more questions. More questions. Oh, we'll take the phone line. calls and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me, tell, call us up today. We're going to do it at the end of the show. Call us up and tell us what Nikki should have named my earwax had she taken it. And also, what email was he zapping off? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And what email was he zapping off? All right. What was the subject line right. of the email he was zapping right. off? Right. Okay. Take note. All right. Shall we get into show and tell? Hold on. We got uh, everything. We got everything. Oh, yeah. Well, volume nine, we want to talk about that. Volume nine is out right now. You can buy the DVD and get the Found yep. footagefest.com. Yep. Brand new, hot off the presses. Just came out. We just got it today. All so. right. But All without right. further ado, let's get into show and tell, yep. everybody. Because you get two, right? Yep. Okay. All right. All right, let me start off with a, a semi-regular installment from uh, our pal Joshua in Huntsville, Alabama, who is a meticulous collector of old 80s and 90s uh, TV commercials. He mm -hmm. just taped a lot, found some tapes on eBay, and uh, he sent me a new batch of commercials, which I whittled down into this montage. It's uh, And there, there may be an update on one of the folks in this. Okay. So, um, these are all commercials from Huntsville, Alabama in the 80s. Hi, welcome back to Biergarten Cafe. At the Biergarten Cafe, you'll enjoy truly authentic German cuisine. We pride ourselves in our delicious, made from scratch German dishes. And right now, stop mm. in and try one of our new summer mm. salads. Salads. Choose from our large selection of German beers, along with our more traditional menu items. Where is this from? All of our desserts oh, are Alabama. Alabama. Oh, okay. God. Come in today. All the desserts oh. are by Hildegard. At Beer Garden Cafe. Look at all that lattice. Oh, yeah. He's going to blow it. He's going to explode that board. No one said the day I buy a Chevy, I'd blow up this board. Well, here I have in a bigger, better Chevy. <laughs> and there's that Ford on television. <sighs> Pretty good gimmick. Yeah, blowing up a truck. Now. Blowing up shit. Yeah. yeah. 
time, Clay Jackson was having five to center. The boys in the back hit me for more room. So I hit them with two more truckloads of Honda. There's so much hitting going on at Fable Five. Yeah, no, we're, 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 we never know what. Their <laughs> Honda revival didn't okay. <laughs> The Shopping Mall is waiting for you October 21st through October 31st. The 6th Annual Huntsville JC's Haunted House. That <laughs> one of those. Remember those rubber <laughs> Life is full of ups and downs, and we all make mistakes. If you've made a mistake that is leading you into the courtroom, then you owe it to yourself to have proper legal representation. He kind of, listen, this I'm, guy kind of has a whistle to his voice. Like, oh, I feel it? like maybe is it the, the, sh the sheriff from uh, Disney's uh, Robin Hood has that. Uh, yeah, but Life is full of ups and downs, and we all make mistakes. Yeah. If you've made a mistake that is leading you into the courtroom, then you owe it maybe to yourself to have proper legal representation. Like Hi, so. I'm John Mays. My job is to provide professional legal services. Many laws Definitely of our whistle. federal, yeah. state, and city governments are difficult to understand. I will explain in plain English just how these laws relate to your situation, determine the appropriate action, and defend you every step of the way. Remember, you're innocent I'm until proven guilty. I'm just finishing Atlas right now. <laughs> Hello, wrestling fans. We're here today. Give me that mic, geek. I don't need you. Listen up, people. We already know who the number one man in wrestling is. There's a lot of talk going around about who the number one mobile home dealer in North Alabama is. Well, the yes, Lemon sir. Brothers at River City Housing formed a tag team that can't be beat. They won't pin you down with a deal that you can't live with. So don't let the competition put you in a headlock. Put the Lemon Brothers at River City Housing. I love the home. music. It's... It kind of oh, sounds like cool. vintage horror -y, like yeah. John Carpenter. -y. Yeah, that uh, cool. Here's the update. Joshua told me that um, on his Instagram, which is Huntsville Rewind, somebody messaged him and said they know what the guy from the Lemon Brothers commercials is doing now. So next week I might have an update. The on that. the uh, wrestler? Yeah, the wrestler yeah. guy. Yeah. I wondered if he was an actual wrestler because he was actually pretty good. It seems like it. it yeah. seems like he was. So we'll find out more next week. Um, all right, this one. Um, Okay, there's a lot going on here. I made a lot of notes to myself because I didn't want to forget certain things. Yeah, the script um, is extra long today. Yeah, okay. So, uh, last week, uh, Magnetic Magic in Kansas City sent us this one. I want to be a mole killer. What is Magnetic Magic? I mean, he sent us a lot of stuff. Is it a video store or just like an, a, an organization? Do you know? Uh, I think it's an organization. Okay. Yeah. Is he, what? He's on uh, line, so I'll make sure you check. Yeah, yeah, make sure, sure yeah, tell him, have him put up a uh, link to the Huh? I think it's Eli. Oh, is it Eli? I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So Eli sent this to us, and we were instantly enamored. I mean, look at this. It's a, it's a video on how to get rid of moles. This guy's a professional mole uh, exterminator. Right. He gets rid of pests and stuff. And somebody had him sign it, and then they got <laughs> rid of it. I, don't, I can't an even imagine getting rid of an autographed they, mole killer video. He signed the plastic part, too. He's uh, a distribution company. He just huh? said it. Oh, he distributes Distribution stuff. Okay, yep. cool. Okay. Oh, distribute. Okay. Uh, so here's I want to be a mole killer, which is a very weird title for yeah. like it's a video on how to. Uh, but I want to read the entire back. Okay. If I can. Sure. I've been doing a lot of reading today. Yeah. But I think I'm a decent reader. Okay. You think I'm an okay reader? Yeah. Do it as okay. Bob Eubanks. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. All right. Uh, at the top it says Jeff Holper. Okay. That's, that's, that's the, the guy. guy's that's name. That's the mastermind. That's the mole killer. Jeff Holper. Now, how would how would you kick off your video about mole extermination? Like, how would you kick Some off the first Some background that makes you qualified to teach you about okay. mole killing. Um, Jeff Holper is a believer in the grace of a loving God. <laughs> That's the first sentence. Jeff Holper is a believer in the grace of a loving God, a committed family man. He lives in St. Louis with his wife, Kathy, and daughters, Rachel and Maggie. Okay. Paragraph one. In 1985, Jeff started beekeeping as a hobby. Okay. Removing bee swarms and putting them into his own hives. This grew into a part-time business that specialized in removing and exterminating stinging insects. In 1989, animal trapping was added to the business. Okay. Then in May of 1992, Jeff left his full-time job and launched his new full-time career. Holper's Pest and Animal Solutions is responsible for trapping over 3,000 moles. Mole trapping is about 10% of the company's annual income. Interesting. Wow. This is more than I needed on the back cover, but... He included that's 10% of the company's annual okay. income. Um, I don't think, I mean, the, the rest says that he's the current president of the Missouri Pest Management <laughs> Association. Um, he, he served on the board of the Missouri Association as the education chairman. Mm -hmm. um, he is also a member of the National Pest Management Association. Okay. okay. The main thing I want in a mole killer is a committed family man. 
That's my main qualification. The mole killing stuff, great, but. Okay, so I went through, I watched all 40 minutes of this. Yeah. It's like 35 minutes. I watched it today, and this guy is so passionate about killing moles. Like, he's so excited about it. He talks about how, like, first of all, he gives you kind of the nuts and bolts. And okay. then he's just like, and you are just going it, to, it's just a real sense of joy when you see that, I think he calls it the, that little gray fur. When you see that little gray <laughs> fur down there, he's talking about, like, killing moles. Okay. And he, at one point, he holds up a mole, and they're actually really cute. Yeah, moles are, are really adorable little rodents. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not a they homeowner. They get in places, but, I'm sure yeah. they're annoying. I'm not a homeowner. I don't know how pesky and they like, are. And it, it says he traps them, but he's, I guess he kills them, too. He kills all of them. Oh, okay. He doesn't trap any of them. Well, it said yeah. it on the back that he traps Yeah, them. but like, yeah, traps and kills. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all, all right. getting, it's all this, like, this spear thing that when uh, they crawl through are... it, the spears go through them. Are we like going to see that? No, we're okay. not going to see it, but you do get to see dead moles in this. Okay. You don't get to see them get killed, but you get to see them like, kind of like fucking with them a little bit. All right, let's watch it. <laughs> oh, also, I want to say uh, uh, he uses the word moist a lot. Okay. I, so I, I grabbed one of those moists. Um, and I think he might have a St. Louis accent. I don't know what a St. Louis accent is, but I, I think, think Nelly. this is... think Nelly. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, maybe. He spells everything in a St. Louis accent. Nelly does. Okay. Um, Jeff Holper Fun. doesn't have a Nelly accent. Okay. But um, All right. I think I think like this is uh, Jeff Holper's. I think I think this is. He likes some toasted yeah. ravioli. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking about going as Holper oh, for my Halloween costume. Okay. I like the good choice of Lulling colors. you into. And no music. Just going with natural. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Jeff Holper. I'm the president of Holper's Pest and Animal Solutions. Whoa. One of the things that's emerged at our company is a major target focus has been moles. And we're going to show you yeah, how you too can wow. have success trapping moles. No, it's more layout, uh, it's like I, I was a frustrated mole trapper a couple years ago. I met a friend of mine in Louisville, Kentucky named Margie Darling. She taught me the tricks. And since then, I've had more success than ever. We're going to teach you how you can have success. Remember, the goal of mole control <laughs> is a dead mole. <laughs> Help but me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, moles my only hope. kill moles. His body language And you want to have great. a confirmed kill. You, uh, you want to want the joy of seeing the gray fuzz in the ground. Um, it's joy, important it? to, in anything that you do, that you know that you've solved your problem. You can't just be guessing. Uh, one mole can do a hundred foot of tunnel in a foot. day. I think it's the same so hundred foot. You can yeah. think that you've solved foot. your mole problem by any number of different things Listen. and not have solved anything. He just moved over to the neighbor's yard because they watered their lawn and it's moister and it's easier to get the earthworms that day. Moister. I just want to say thanks for buying this. <laughs> uh, this video is a project that I've wanted to do for years and now it's, it's here. Passion. Wow. And I really appreciate your purchase and he I just depressed. Just, as the blessing of like God. Low self esteem. Just, he's he's humble. He's frustrated. I just appreciate you so much. Like, have some confidence. No, he's humble. Let's be self confident this about your This video is a project that I've wanted to do for years, and now it's here. And I really appreciate your purchase, and I just, just ask the blessing of God be upon you. <laughs> just, I hope his joy increases in you. Well, I send these little devils to hell. He waves here. It's hard to see. Yeah. <laughs> he waves the other way. I like to watch the life drain from their little beady eyes. This is how it ends. This is a great ending. Off into the sunset. As the sunset? Yep. With the lens that needs to be cleaned. Traps, <laughs> books, and mole killer wear, shirts and hats. Oh, I want that. Hold on, look at oh! that. <laughs> Sweet success. He gave himself more hair than... He actually has. I mean, they're still around. We need I to put up a suicide up hotline after this for. Look at it. Mole killer. Oh, we got to get those sweatshirts. So, okay. So, on the back of the tape. Wow. The whole tape Stunned. is really good. I think Stunned. we should do that for an EP mode someday. Yeah. I, th I think it's really good. Because, like, I, he's so passionate about this thing. Look on the back here. Now it says, I want to be a mole killer. 
for books, traps, and mole hunter wear, write us or visit us at molehunter.com. So I went there today. Yeah. There's a phone number there. I mean, what time is it? It's uh, it's an hour earlier in St. Eight, Louis? Yeah, 8.30 in St. Louis. Yeah. So they're probably closed, but maybe we can leave a message. I can sure. give you your phone number. Yeah, do you want to call uh, now? Yep, or? yep okay. let's call right now because I want right. to I wanna ask him about the shirts. I want to get that uh, Sweet Success shirt. And that was from 1998, so it's been 20 years? Yeah. Okay. Um, but they're still around. You can now give the Melinda number, too. You don't have to give Nick's. Oh, yeah? Oh, I, I will. I will. Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. And also, um, they, um, Magnetic Hello, Magic and thank you for calling said he thinks that's from uh, Kansas City. You have reached our office outside of normal business hours. Oh, Please note, Holper's Pest and Animal Solutions does not handle domestic animals. If you are a current customer mm. calling about an animal nope. in a trap, He's stuck. Please enter extension one. If you are calling to schedule an appointment or inquire about our services, please leave a message. And You're we calling will about the sweatshirts. On the next business Press day eight. Within normal business You're calling hours. about the T-shirts. For a list of our hours, please enter two. <clears throat> you have reached the customer care team. Good thing we are you currently your assisting other customers. What? I thought please they were going to leave a message, and we will oh, return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Please leave a message after the tone. Uh, hey, Jeff, uh, this is Joe uh, calling from VCR Party. I'm alongside Nick. We're uh, doing VCR Party live right now. And we just watched I Want to Be a Mole Killer, um, a, a video that you had put out. Uh, what, what year was it? 92, I want to say? 93? No, I think it's even later. I said 98. Oh, did, were you guessing? I saw that on the back cover. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, no, you're right. Okay, yeah, 1998 you put this out. And on the, on the video, there's a, a T-shirt at one point of, uh, that says Sweet Success. It has a guy holding up a, a mole, and we want one so bad. And we're hoping that maybe somewhere in, in the back room, in the basement, in the attic somewhere, you have some old T-shirts that say Sweet Success. And, uh, I'm a medium. Nick's a medium. I'm an extra large. And uh, what was the other shirt? Oh, the one that said Mole Killer, too. That's a cool one, too. I, I, if you have extras of those I would definitely take one of those so anyway give me a call back when you get a chance my phone number is 515 Melinda 515 Melinda you just spell it out with the letters on your on your uh, phone yeah Jeff knows <laughs> um, and so uh, yeah give us a call and leave a message and uh, we're big fans we're big fans of the video and uh, we love what you do so thank you so much Jeff and uh, that's all that's it all right all right, now we just wait and see. Now yep. it's a waiting game. Sit back and wait. Yep. All right. I want a sweet success shirt. I mean, if we get a sweet success shirt, that will be a sweet success. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, all right. That, it's hard to top that. This one I was thinking about recently. I think I saw Seth Green in something. Mm -hmm. And what was he famous for? I mean, I know like Robot Chicken, but before that. He was in It, the first one. The first It, oh, the miniseries? Buffy the Vampire Buffy Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, yeah. Well, you, know, you know what I know. What, is, is this what you're playing? Yes. Okay. This is what I'm playing. So in New Orleans, uh, he was, a, I guess, a regional chain of chicken fast food restaurant called Rally's. He was part of a regional commercial there where his catchphrase was cha-ching. Yeah. And um, the local news station, KVUE, did a, a news story about him that we saw. And I found a copy of it. It's... Uh, he becomes the I didn't do it boy from The Simpsons. Yeah. He, he has this catchphrase that he can't escape, but he fully embraces it, and it became the rallying cry for the New Orleans Saints that year. So here's the news story from Did KB. it, though. Well, yeah. according to this news station. So you be the judge. Here's the cha-ching news segment. With, uh, oh, yeah, let me uh, get to the very beginning. They did, a, they did probably a five-minute segment on this. On the rallies. Yeah. Yes. Our team report now takes a look at the treat for fans at the halftime show. It featured the teenager who gave fans their rallying cry. News 8's Ken Wells was there to record every cha-chinging moment. <laughs> I quote that all the time. That's Seth Green, just your average 17-year-old struggling actor, better known in New Orleans as cha-ching to kids meals and the kid from Morales' <laughs> cha-ching commercial. Ever since that ad started running in New Orleans this fall. <laughs> Cha-ching has been the rallying cry of the Saints. This week, the fast food chain flew Seth into New Orleans, where he received the key to the city. Ching! <laughs> <laughs> 
He got dancing like a cow cow moving character. Moves. Yeah. And then he toured the French Quarter. Give me a good cha-ching. 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 That's cha-ching. Dance monkey. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. There were some critics out today. He said cha-ching. I said cha-chunk. But Seth was starting to understand the that something unusual there. was going on here. Then came the pregame pep rally. And several hundred fans wanted to jacket. hear, you guessed it, chicken sandwich and a large soda, bada bing! <laughs> so they fly this 17-year-old kid in VIP, ching, and then they give him the keys to the city, bada bing! And then the best was yet to come, cha-ching! <laughs> Imagine Seth Green loose on the floor of the dome, in front of more than 70,000 screaming, yelling, chinging fans. <laughs> So what's it like? It's a little grinder monkey tonight. The spirit is amazing. Cha ching! <laughs> Man, I'm very happy. I'm very welcome. Ken Wells, WVUE. <laughs> look at this. Wait, look at this thing in the back walking that mascot. <laughs> it's like a. It's like a, this. Man, this is so much going on. I'm very welcome. Ken Wells, WVUE, News Eight. There it is. Oh, Every cha chinging moment. Oh Every cha chinging my God. moment is a, yeah. Oh, I want to watch it again. Maybe we'll, that'll just be, we'll have this on standby if we ever just are having a down moment in the show, we'll put it in the cha ching segment. You say cha ching, <laughs> I say cha chump. chump. <laughs> Those guys were the ones telling the truth. No one remembers cha ching. You say cha ching, I, I say, say cha chump. But uh, New Orleans fans are prone to catchphrases. Maybe that dad, be, all that. Can stuff. that be the ending, another ending thing? That's all that's it. You yeah, say you cha ching, I say cha chump. Yeah. Here with every cha-chinging moment. Uh, all right, this is my last video show and tell, but it's a long one, <laughs> okay. and it's a classic. So right. we played this the other night at uh, the Elmo Draft House, and it was a hit. So this guy, from uh, his name's Eric. He's from uh, Vancouver. He works at this theater that has a that had a hypnotist, and so they had like a three camera setup, and uh, they would, you know, videotape the the hypnotist doing his thing but as people were loading in they still ran video and they had to do this every single night and they would hear the same songs over and over again one of the songs was California uh, Hotel California and so they would videotape the people coming in and sitting down for this like taking their seats taking their the seats music. having having a snack yeah maybe relaxing a little bit right and it is a work of art he set the whole thing to the song Hotel California and it is absolutely brilliant. When Eric emailed to us, he's like, I don't know if you'd be interested in this. He was very, he was like mole killer modest when he <laughs> sent this to us. He's at a like, Hulper level? Yeah, he's at a Hulper level. of. Uh, but it is, it, it's incredible. It's an amazing footage. I, we almost talked about not giving this away because it's so precious. I know, exactly. But we, well, we thought about maybe showing two minutes of it, but we're like, nah. It's, let's just, let's just for, show it all right now. For the VCR party, Melinda's, you get, you get the whole thing. Yeah, so. and YouTube is not going to like that we're playing Hotel California, but I don't know. Who cares? Fuck it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, what else do I want to say about this? Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it, what, I, what I'm excited about is that an audience is going to be watching an audience. It's very meta. So. Okay. Um, all right, here it is. Hotel Let's Hell, see. he calls it, right? Hotel Hell and Hotel with two L's, right. too.
classic amazing that needs to be i know the eagles don't get along but they need to reconvene joe walsh don henley the whole gang <clears throat> even the dead ones and make that their official music video for hotel california sure yeah <clears throat> that should be it i mean like more music videos should be that yeah if, i love it i love it so much and uh, thanks to eric for hooking us oh up oh my god and when we played it at uh at uh, the Elmo Draft House the other day, to see it on the big screen oh, yeah. was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So we're definitely going to put that in a future Found okay. Funnies Festival. Thank you, Eric. Um, and now on to the one I'm really excited about. It's called... you got a lot to follow It's here. called Mouth Drumming. I know, this is... Uh, put this one in the Museum of Broadcasting, this episode. Uh, yeah. This is called Mouth Drumming, and this is a video about how to beatbox. And, I mean, do I need to say anything else? I, I, yeah, no, you This don't. is an acapella guy. And this is one where I started off laughing at it, and then by the end was trying to do the, the mouth oh, okay. things by the end, and I was like, wow, this guy's really a, an amazing talent. And you uh, genuinely like this one? Or well, is it... it's kind of on the bubble, cause, yeah. uh, but 
I was fascinated through the entire 65 minutes. It's in stereo. Okay. And uh, it's called Mouth Drumming. This is tape one. I do not think there was a tape two. 1998. Yep. Kind of a Seth Green uh, oh, yeah. Ching haircut. Yeah. Get me started, get you yep. excited about yep. okay. this. is what you could could do by the end of this tape. Overnight, you're gonna do this? No, not overnight. Okay. He doesn't make that promise. Hi, I'm Wes Carroll. Thanks for buying this tape. I hope that you enjoy it and that it contributes a lot to your study of vocal percussion. So, not my what is vocal percussion? Well, it's a modern descendant of the beatbox tradition with a little bit of scat singing thrown in. Do, ka. Do, ka, do, ka, do, ka, do, ka, do, ka, do, do, ka, do, do, ka, do, do, ka, do, do, ka, These are my Let it be fun. Do it when you feel like doing it. Butz, do, ka, butz, do, ka, butz, 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 do, do, ka, butz, do, ka, do, do, ka, butz, do, ka, do, do, ka, do, ka, butz, do, ka, were you doing this along with yeah. it while you were? I like that one. From Police Academy. Yeah. I tried a number of different brands of lip balm before I found one that gave me the sound that I was really looking for. One last thought, remember to floss. Take care. Oh, just go back. Yeah, it takes you out of it. <clears throat> remember to floss, was that, is that like his catchphrase or no, something? No, that was his little uh, okay. joke at the end there. Um, fascinating, I mean, we all know the human beatbox from the Fat Boys. We all know that sure. was the, the very first, my first exposure to beatboxing. But I guess now all these like acapella nerds do it. So this guy was the one that teaches everybody how to do it. Uh, mouth drumming. I'll put a web clip up of some of that stuff because the whole thing's. I have like a seven minute edit of that. And you so. know what I say? I say cha ching. I say cha chump. Yep. <clears throat> All right. That's uh, my show and tell. Is that it? Let's, That's it. Let's, let's close, close up, it up show and tell. Let's get to George yeah. at all. Oh, no. We're gonna, no, we're going to start with nice things. We're starting with nice things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's rock some nice things. Roll the nice things. Nice things, Jingle. I say cha-ching. No, wait. You, he, he says cha-ching. Cha I say, I cha say cha chump. chump. That's how it goes. Every cha-chinging moment. <laughs> I feel like watching it again. We could. I, I would. I would gladly rewind and, and watch that. All right, again. I got that the whole, tape handy. That whole news piece is so good. Uh, all right, so uh, oh, we got some good, some nice, nice things in this week. Um, so we talked about McSee. Yes. And you know, I started doing that uh, McSee erotic fan fiction. People have been sending us in steamy stories about the perceived sexual relationship. And between I've been, I've been retooling it in my head. You uh -huh. know, like I, I want to do something different with it. Well, first of all, let me just explain what it is. So we have uh, that McDonald's training video, and we can tell that there's a palpable love connection between Jennifer and Chris. And I'll just show you that I think this is the definitive moment. Oh, Jennifer, they... I was just thinking while I'm at it, I've got my cleaner and my towel. Why don't I clean the signs too? I love it. I love it. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so I think that's where they fell in love. Right there, yeah. yeah. They were really finding common ground. Exactly. Yeah. And like he's taken some initiative, mm -hmm. and uh, I, right. think she, I think she's uh, turned on by that. Sure. And so, him getting uh, the paper towels, yeah. cleaning the playland. 
So, so uh, I had the idea to uh, ask people to write up some erotic fan fiction, and we got a bunch. And uh, last week I read some. Here's the thing: I'm not I'm not good at reading sexy stuff, so I'm thinking. I, I, I can put this call out for, for voiceover readers who think they can read in a sexy way, but it has to be like for real sexy in order for it to be good. Right, right? not a joke. It can't be like joke yeah. sexy. Like I do joke sexy and it's not as good when I read it. If we get like real voiceover like talent. Kind of a Demi Moore sounding. Somebody with like a yeah. sultry voice. Steve, you get a sultry voice, don't you? I, I was thinking Nick might. This might oh, be yeah, right up his corner. So? I'll I mean, give it a shot. Why don't you do your I'll Eubanks? I'll give it the old college try. <laughs> Yeah, do it as Eubanks. Uh, um, yeah. So anyway, I want to get a professional voiceover person. Maybe we spend a little money on this. Okay. Some of the Patreon money. Sure. And uh, we, uh, we we do this professionally. We do it the right way. So anyway, to to open up this segment, we I think you brought up that they should do like we should ask people to do a Harlequin love novel. No, of, I, I said we should compile all of them into a trade paperback Harlequin that's romance what you said. novel. Yes. yes. Okay, once, so, once we have a bunch of them, enough for a book, we'll, exactly. we'll publish them. So uh, Judah sent us a, a, a Photoshop that he did of what the cover of that book's going to look like. Yeah, I And saw this is this. definitely a nice thing here. This is really good. This is a nice thing. Take a look at this. Okay, so there it is. It's, it's, I, I zoom in here, but look at This is like those Harlequin love novels. It's, it's from the Melinda's series. The, <laughs> right. the series is called The Melinda's. Yeah, there's Chris and his right. Scottish tartan. Uh-huh. And it's called All I McSee Is You. Ooh. And then you see the quote down at the bottom. Oh, I didn't notice that. It's from Nick Pruer from VCR Party. He says, a very, very sexual novel. I didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that. Well, the novel also doesn't exist. Oh, so, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah so. All right. Well, good job, all the same, uh, Judah, for that Photoshop. But, yeah. yeah. Well, we're taking other submissions. Uh, it could be a series. Yep. All right. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, send in your uh, erotic mixy fan fiction. I'm gonna start putting together that package. If you know any voice, if you're a voiceover person, let us know. We need uh, um, we need enough for a book. So it's it's uh, quantity over quality. I think we have a. Uh, five so far okay yeah right. but they're all pretty long yeah so like i feel like you we're, know we're getting to be book yeah. length um, all right this next one uh somebody sent us a furnace commercial <laughs> jingle uh mo c sent it he yeah. says it's from central ohio i assume that's where he's from it's recent which is we don't really show a lot of recent stuff. no this one yeah this one is probably still on the air yeah uh but it's really terrible and the the uh the jingle is catchy so let me just rewind <laughs> so, you, so you're not lost during this commercial here for furnaces Hi, I'm an Atlas Butler customer. And I'm not. Can you feel football in the air? The only thing I can feel is cold air. My furnace is down. You should call a team of winners, like Atlas Butler. That's a great game plan. I'm going to march across the field and make the call right now. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Maybe go around the field. Call your home team, Atlas Butler. She ran through the field. Atlas Butler is at your service call. So you know, you know what we do whenever this jingle comes on. Yeah. I put, I put it on a loop for a few times so that we can all, it can all work its way into our brain. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's all pretend we're from Central Ohio. Okay. And we're watching reruns of The Simpsons. At this butler is at your service call one eight hundred furnace. At this butler is at your service call one eight hundred furnace. At this butler is at your service call. I have a startling revelation about this. Hold on, I gotta rewind that last one. You were talking no, about your revelation. You won't, you won't after rewind it You're to the beginning was, of this commercial. Okay. Rewind it to the beginning of this commercial. Really? Yeah. Okay. Who does the woman who accidentally runs through the football field remind you of? It's from a movie. Uh, that we've watched on the show before, I believe. The one on the left? Yeah. Cold air, my furnace is oh. down. You should call oh, a team yeah. of winners. Like no, Atlas I know what that one. I That's think a great the, game plan. Yes. I'm going to march across the field Man, and make a call right now. Wait, wait, no, no. It's Dana from Main Affair. I think it might Maybe actually be her. Around the field. They're both in the Midwest. <laughs> yes. This is, think she, of the older version with dyed hair. You're right. I think Dana, this is, Dana is from Indianapolis. Yes, so look at her delivery. Yeah. Feel football in the air. I think it is the only thing I can feel is cold air. My furnace is down. I think you're right. You should call a team that, of winners, like Atlas Butler. That's a else great game plan. Yeah, so don't tell me to shut up. Maybe go around the field. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Maybe go around the field. I don't have you think twice. 
could call your home team. Atlas Butler. Maybe we could queue that up. We don't have time. Alright, we'll do it next time. Anyway, that's. That's All right. A, okay, that's that nice thing. Wow, I think yeah. you're right. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll stop. Um, we have any more nice things? We have one more nice thing. Okay. Hold on. Let me just get past the... Uh, okay. Just see. Okay. So, um, last weekend, uh, Nick and I were doing some college shows up in New England, and we stopped by. We did one in New Hampshire. But during the day, we stopped by Fun Spot. Oh, my God. If you guys aren't familiar with Fun Spot, it's this big, huge arcade. The reason that world's I know largest. about it... The world's largest. The reason that I know about it, I don't know if it's the reason you yeah. know about it, but the reason uh, I guess we know about it is because the movie King of Kong, if you haven't seen King of Kong, watch it tonight. It's the, one of the greatest documentaries of all time. A lot of it takes place there. It's about a, a guy who's, a couple guys who are trying to beat the Donkey Kong record. And they have their annual championship tournament at Fun Spot in New Hampshire. It's out in the middle of nowhere, and they just have thousands of arcade games. It's so fun. We went yeah. there in the afternoon. Anyway, so we go, there's a bar there. I yeah. went into the bar, and there was an old timer sitting at the end of the bar wearing suspenders. He's probably like well into his 90s. Yep, had a tall glass of beer. Drinking a Budweiser, and uh, he was the owner. He's the guy who started it from in like 1952 yeah. or something. And, uh, and I sat down, I talked to him for the longest time. Fucking fascinating. He was also in the state legislature for New Hampshire. And he's the one who got live free or die on their license plates. Yeah. He's responsible he, what for What a that. life this guy has. And now he runs like a, an indoor mini golf and arcade. It started off as mini golf yeah. in the 50s. And then he got rich off of that. And then he's like, all right, video games are becoming it's a thing. It's on Lake and, Winnipesaukee. So it's a big vacation destination. You got to go. If yeah. you're ever in New Hampshire, you got to go to Fun Spot. Spend the day. It's like 20 bucks and you get a shitload of tokens. Yeah. and um, oh, Incredible time. So fun. Anyway, he this is a nice thing. He, he gave me... A, an autographed picture of himself. This is him right here. He will get. He, he's there every Saturday from two until four thirty, and you can chit chat with him. He's got a million stories. Yeah, and uh, just a sweet old timer, and um, good sense of humor. He still got it together, and he still works there. He shows up every day from six to seven to make sure the place is tip top. Anyway, I wanted to uh, show a clip from King of Kong. This is the scene in in uh, Fun Spot. This is, um, there's one guy named Brian Koo who's like, he's a champion too. He's a champion <laughs> video game player. He retired at age 30 and he moved up to, what's the city called up there? Laconia. Moved mm -hmm. up to Laconia, got a cabin up there, and he's there all the time. He's at Fun Spot every single day. Decided to spend his retirement at 30 playing video games at Fun Spot. That's the life right there. Anyway, this is the scene. This is a classic scene in King of Kong where he goes around and he alerts everybody that Steve Wiebe is about to hit a kill screen, which is the end of Donkey Kong. It runs out of memory and it just goes to fuzz or something like that. It's very rare to get a kill screen, so he's very excited Did about it and he's telling everybody about it. This is the classic kill screen scene. Anybody wants to see there's a Donkey Kong kill screen coming up. Uh, there's a Donkey Kong kill screen coming up if anybody wants to watch. There's a potential Donkey Kong kill screen if you want to watch. There's a Donkey Kong kill screen might be coming up if anybody wants to see it. Hey Todd, if you're interested, uh, there might be a Donkey Kong kill screen in a couple minutes. Hey Todd. Uh, the kill screen, kill screen kicked in. So that was the kill screen. <laughs> <laughs> that is this is the highest Donkey that. Kong score done in public. Um, Walter Day stated that this was the highest score ever done and this is the first uh, kill screen achieved on Fun Spot's machine. Uh, Steve Wiebe has become the third person to reach uh, Donkey Kong's kill screen. So I was I was really hoping to see Brian Koo. I know there. we were we were trolling around for him. Didn't yeah, we spent, didn't we spent several hours didn't see him. I played that Donkey Kong though the, that machine and um, I couldn't get past level two. Yeah, it's, I, impossible. it's such a hard that game. game. Impossible. Uh, so, so I think that's it for nice things. Okay, Steve, let's wrap it up. Wait, do, we, do we wrap it up for... I just okay. did. Okay. Um, so, bad news. Uh, I've got some non-nice things. Oh, Apparently, no. we've been uh, taken down from Facebook. What? Really? Yeah, they did an immediate one. So, everyone's watching on YouTube. Oh, really? Because uh, Hotel, Hotel California? Hotel California? Yep. Really? Wow. Just a little news. Oh. Fucking eagles. Uh. Oh, it's because we... Yeah, because it's probably most of the song. Yeah. Uh, oh. All right, well, welcome, Facebook audience. Um, oh, boy. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Well, well, we'll try to remedy that. Maybe we'll 
put a different song underneath? I have no idea what we'll do. I but. thought it was going to be for the 1 800 down to. Yeah, uh, well, furnace who knows? we'll find out after this. 1 800. Well, furnace. good news, uh, good news, Facebookers who've joined us. Uh, George is here, and George is in the creep corner. Uh, let's play the Detective George intro. Do you see that? Uh, okay. God, that bums me out. Well, it's not working. Oh. It was earlier. Maybe Facebook is. Uh, it's George. There it is. George. Okay. George. The anxious detective. We got it. Right, George is right. here. Hi, George. Hi, George. Hello. What do you got for us? Your creep, ca your creep cave looks different. Welcome to my green screen. Well, I've got some disturbing news, and that is that we have gone through our entire creep cave set budget for fiscal year 2019. You so, had you had um, satellites, you had underwater. I mean, that's that's big right there, right? One point seven five million dollars year to date spent. One point seven five million. That was the whole year's budget. Wow. So now it's up to we're th we're asking the Melindas for a lifeline. Mm -hmm. You, you at home, you can put a creep cave behind me. Mm -hmm using this footage and uh, your ingenuity. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking and forward we to appeal to you. Using Photoshop skills, uh, put, put, put a real creep cave behind. You can you, use you, crayon. We don't, we don't George, care. can you give a real creep face? Just like you're lurking, you're like looking up somebody's VIN this number. This isn't enough for you? You're like looking, <laughs> look, like, act like you're typing, like, oh, I think I found his VIN number. So if you're just oh. joining us for the first time, George tries to track down some of the people in our VHS tapes. And uh, what do you got for us today? All right, so. We're going to start off with, uh, let's see, I found a longer clip of Baby Rapper oh, on YouTube, great. and this one had the credits. And so I noticed in the comments section, uh, do you have it run? Um, Hold on, let's let's play it now. Do you want to start it right now? Sure, yes. Okay, okay. we are so, a black screen, and here's Baby here Rapper. Okay, so in the comments section of the YouTube clip of Baby Rapper, there is a <laughs> comment from the producer of Baby Rapper, and he gives out his email address. Um, and I emailed him. I haven't heard a reply yet, but he was trolling for, for. Uh, oh, he's yeah. He was emailing people like looking. Wait, for, what did that say before? What? what? Somebody wrote. Uh, I I like baby rapper, and he, and he wrote, uh, email me. Oh really? Yeah. And so, that was his email. It's right. the baby rapper groupies. That that was the. So you that emailed was the him then, huh? I emailed him. I haven't What'd heard back. What'd you say back. in your email? What's that? What'd you say in your email? Uh, uh, hi, I'm a very creepy individual. I'm in front of a green screen. <laughs> Can I get your VIN number? You do the math. Yeah. <laughs> To change, um, etc. Yeah. Okay, now we're on so, modern cartoons. Okay, so uh, so then I found in the late '90s an article in Variety about the creator, and it turns out Baby Rapper was made using a motion capture suit, and which is oh. disturbing, uh, because there's a, a choreographer listed in the Baby Rapper credits. Yeah. Um, but I so I emailed that creator. I haven't heard back. I want people to understand this is a slow process, but we're on it. We're okay. on it. Okay. Okay. Well, we like seeing the progress report. We're watching Baby Rapper doing some of his dance moves. So okay. there's somebody dressed up in the, the suit like um, they yeah. did, like capture? They, like they yes. did uh, Gollum in yes. Lord of the Rings, right? Similar. Similar okay. technology. Also very convincing. Now we're on the Losers Weepers. Okay, screen. so we I better luck with the show Losers Weepers. Here's a recap with a clip. Nope. Sorry, my fault. It's these two women who have this public access show. I don't know where it's from because they have a phone number. They don't have the area code up. They find things on the ground and they bring them up on the show and Perfect. they describe where they found them and then people have to call in to say if it was theirs. And uh, it's, it's just a fun show to watch. And uh, here's the scene where they, uh, they found a bomb. That's a purple one. Yeah, it's a purple one. <laughs> uh, so did they a bomb? Did they have a sticker on the bottom? No. Uh, no. Oh, what does the sticker say on the bottom? But it's a sticker, it's like a fish sticker. And what color is it? Well, mine was blue or purple. Ha-ha! It's, it's not your bong. <laughs> so it turns out the show started in August of 96 and was broadcast by the Manhattan Neighborhood Network. And the hosts, Captain Yoder and Ensign Colby, were from the New York area, and they're still here. They have several episodes on the Vimeo page. Oh. And I made some calls, and uh, watch this. Attention, Joe and Nick. What? Hi. This is Kat Yoder, co-host of Losers Weepers. Ethan Colby and I look forward to talking with you on an upcoming episode. Yes. Whoa. Whoa, wow. sweet. You did it. 
Yeah, that's so that's, you got it. Up. that's one more for the uh, one more for the creep. Oh, nice yes. job! Can I ask that you What's don't use the Facebook thumbs up anymore, just because uh, we're kind of feuding with them right now? Oh yeah. Yeah. What, what's your creep count at right now? The ones you know about, or the ones in my basement? <laughs> You're doing a lot of research just on your own time. The ones yeah. we know about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I would say we. I would say we have five great ones. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. is a great one. Okay. It's been a lot of progress. So good. And Maybe they'll be on a like, future episode. Do you scroll like? Do you do the line, 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 then cross on the fives like on your creep cavern? Like, do you do that on the side and you do it with like a jackknife or something? No, the people who are down there keep track of days. Oh, that they way. do it for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's cheaper okay. than a calendar. All right. All give, right. Give one more creep face. Give them one more less like. Oh, I can That's sm- good. Say, 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 I can smell your VIN number from here. <laughs> say that. So I can smell your VIN number. <laughs> I think you're embracing the creep more than George. Yeah, it's just like you yeah. embracing Nick's sexuality. Well, or not right. Nick's sexuality, yeah, your own take, sexuality. You're kind of taking things and running with it. Will you actually say, I can smell your VIN number? Look in the camera. I can't. Say I can't because <laughs> it's it's not. I, I have to get in character. Yeah, okay. please don't, George. Okay. Uh, that's Detective George for this week. Thank you very much. That's it. And let's see what you do with the uh, green screens, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, do we want to take some calls now? Yeah, six phone calls. Okay. No, what was it? What my earwax should be named. And, I'm excited uh, to meet the Losers Reapers. Yeah, well, so we I am get to too. meet them, right? Yeah, yeah, they wanna, good. Are they they're in New York still? Yes, and they're available for an interview. That's okay. good. We should have them on the show. Yeah, we yes. should maybe do a Losers Reapers using the phone. Yeah. here or yeah. have them. Yeah. Anyway, we'll figure out what to do. Uh, thank you, George. Um, let's do our five one five Melinda is the number. Five one five Melinda, give us a call. Tell us what the earwax should be named. Uh, when you when you when we pick up the phone, you have to say first time, long time. Yep. And, uh, uh, or first time, last time. First, first time, time, last, last time. time. And then, uh, yeah, what the what the earwax, what the name of the earwax should be. Mm-hmm. There's one other thing we asked for, and give us a little beatbox too. I, I would like that. Uh, just your best beatbox. Okay. Uh, and uh, what was the other one? So oh, wait, they'll oh. know. They'll know. You know what? I have my, no, my phone's doing this thing. Well, my phone's ringing now. Well, why don't you grab it? Camera. Because I, I did this. Oh wait, here, hold on. Hello, oh, wait, hello. Uh, welcome on. to VCR party. Oh wait, no. Oh shit, I was calling them. Oh. Well, I, I should mention next week's going to be our Halloween episode. Because mine just rolls right into, I did this thing with like private calls. Or, you know, like whenever spam calls, it just rolls yeah. in. So it assumes oh. these, are, these are all spam. Yeah, okay. Let's well, take yours. All right. Yeah, I'll be taking my phone. Thank you. <laughs> I've, been, I've learned, uh, learned not to trust Joe and anything phone related. I don't uh, know. Do give us a call. Um, but yeah, I, the Halloween episode, I've been queuing up watching a lot of Halloween videos. This one, I'm gonna, we're going to take you out this week. With a song, I'm gonna put on Ghost. Oh, we can't even look at that. But it's a Halloween karaoke, which is exactly what it sounds like. And there's a little starburst that says, "Be a there. star on your VCR." There, it's, there it is. Be a star on your VCR. All right. That was a hang-up. Was it? Yep. Sometimes they get a little scared. Was, right there. So okay. far, we've gotten calls from uh, Sharpsville, Pennsylvania, and Alberta, Canada. But, Call them back. Well, I don't know if this is their number or it I'm might sure it be. Is. Well, I'm not gonna call Canada. Why well, not? Because it's long distance. <laughs> it's 1993. Hello, you have reached. Please do not leave a message. Okay. I think that might have been George. Tone, oh, wait, here, you got another call. Yeah, another call. Oh, this is Sharpsville. Okay, yeah, they're calling now. Accept. And an accept. Okay. There you go. Uh, hi, you've reached Joe and Nick from VCR Party. How may I direct a call? Hey, first time, last time call. Yes, Great nice. to hear it. Uh, what should Joe's... Hey, I just... Yeah, go ahead. Hey, just wanted to say this is uh, Jeff Holden here. I'm calling to say I got plenty of mediums for you, boys. Just give me a uh, give me a call. Or I'll get back to you. That's oh, Holper. Great. You sound That's like Holper. you kind of ha- sound like you have mole killer energy. <laughs> I do. I just backed a few recently, and uh, it was successful. And uh, no one was bit. No rabies. So, uh, things are going good. How are you guys doing? Do you know that's what that's what Holper should have done? He should have like also. You had a guy on the phone? Oh, yeah. Holper, this is what you should do. You should you should do another video about like grilling moles in the in the right way cuz that's it's two birds with one stone. It can be like trap them and then also cook them and eat them. I'm just I'm just spitballing here. Yeah, no, no problem, no problem. Uh, it was great to see that you guys, you know, saw my films. Uh Yeah, yeah. for our business. Uh it, our, our earnings have moved up to 50%. Whoa! How about <laughs> that? I would like to see, yeah, we're I would like, well. We're doing well. I'd Spit. like to see the pie chart on that. And uh, how was your commitment to being a family man, if I might ask? 
Uh, actually, Jesus and I have kind of fallen out lately. No. Yeah, you're going to have to update uh, your VHS but, uh, cover. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Okay. Yeah, I don't, don't really want to talk about it right now. We could talk about talk that about later, it. But... Talk about it on another video. Um, and did, correct, did, correct. And uh, while we got you, Jeff, can you uh, give us a little beatbox? Wow, multi-talented. He can do it all. He can kill moles, he can beatbox. Thank you so much, Jeff. And God bless, well, whatever you do now, bless you. Uh, thanks for, thanks for calling. Love you guys as well. All right. Love you, Love you too. Love Bye. you. Um, yeah, he's a committed man of the faith who loves killing small animals. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank there, you. Oh, wait, did, was there another call? An, it was coming in, but they hung up. So okay. keep, keep calling. Let's take one more, and then, uh, well, that's all. That's it. Okay. We'll uh, do every cha-ching moment. At the... <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Let's change the show from VCR party to every cha moment. moment. Uh, Oakland, California, I was getting one ring, and then I keep getting a hang-up. But, uh, yeah. We have one more call. Is that was exciting that? to uh, get have Jeff call. Here. Oakland, California. Okay. Hi, you're, uh, you've reached Nick and Joe on VCR Party. How may I direct your call? Hi, uh, this is uh, Brian from uh, Oakland, California, and I just uh, wanted an update on the Clown Museum. Yes, Brian, thanks for calling. Um, and uh, the update is that they still need to build a new wing because they have too many clowns for the uh, museum. So they, oh, gotcha. they said in uh, this year they hope to have that open, and when it's open, then uh, God willing, we'll have a, a shelf on there for a VCR I th party. I think we're due for a phone call update, though, just to call, see how that wing is coming along. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, next week, maybe we'll call them live next week. We'll get a live update for you, Brian. All right, sounds great. And, uh, and, uh, love the show. Uh, have a good night, guys. Hey, wait, wait, what, what would you name Joe's Earwax just off? Uh, what do you think, Jezzy Wax? Good name. Katie. 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 Yeah, Katie. All right. I like it. Love it. All right. Thanks for calling. I'm Appreciate gonna name it, it Katie. Uh, there it is, Katie the Earwax. Paul. I really like Katie as a. Um, some of the people online earlier were uh, saying Melindira or something. However you do it. Melindira. Melindira. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly. The spelling looks yeah. better than the actual. Yeah, yeah, Melindira. That, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. We hope you'll join us like uh, next week because we have a we have a Halloween spectacular. Send us your costume pics to info at Found Footage Fest. Um, you have you win big prizes. November fourth. Major prizes. We got these prizes. Major awards. And uh, sing along with us as we leave you with uh, the song Ghostbusters from Halloween Karaoke. Uh, that's all, that's it! We'll be right back right after that. Every cha-chinging moment! Cha-ching!
return, Dr. Selma will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all, that's it. Let me see that one. We'll be right back right after that. <laughs>